and I thought I'll go and have a look at this look bear net that I seen on Facebook Marketplace last night. Now, I looked on eBay for somebody selling the same type of log bear net, and well, they had it up for 600 quid. And the guy who had it up for 600 quid is a dealer in second hand log bear net, so he knows how much this log bear net is worth. So I'm saving here 450 pounds for driving an hour, which will probably cost me 20 quid in diesel, there and back, so 170 quid. So here we are guys, we're in the stable now, we've got the log bearing, we're in there to get a friend to give us an hand to get it in the stable block. The lady wouldn't let me film, but that's okay. I didn't need to haggle with the lady because it was only £150. I'm not going to haggle with somebody if they're giving me a good deal already. They could have sold this easily for 300 400 even £500. I know there's a dealer on eBay that sells exact model as this. He's got three of them. He has them up for £600 used. I know for a fact it's £2,500 if you went to buy this Juttel 6 kilowatt log burner from the shop. And it will save me around about £3,000 by the time I've got it installed with a second hand flow system. Now guys, let's get on. Get the rust off this log burner, breathe a new lease of life into this girl so she can warm up my house for me and my family for years. So guys, we're around about a third of the way through now, and I just wanted to stop and tell you what tools I'm using for the job. I've got my safety glasses on, got an angle grinder with a wire brush head, and I've got a wire brush for the niggly areas that I can't get into with angle grinder and a wire brush head. And you might also need some wire wool for really intricate parts you need to get into. Right guys, it's getting really dark outside. I've stopped now for the night. I'm about 90% there. I just wanted to talk about the tools I've been using to get rid of all the rust on this log burner. First things first, a wire handheld brush. Simple, cheap, and easy to get from your local DIY store. 
Then an old angle grinder with an angle grinder wire head. And this is a really good option for de-rusting any item, especially iron. It takes rust off iron really easy. Now, if you're gonna use an angle grinder, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself some wear glasses. Anything that's spinning, anything that can throw bits when you're using a power tool, you need to use minimum some protective shade because if you get some in your eye, you'll regret it. So minimum protection, a set of work shades. Then some wire wool for all the hard to reach spots, which you can't get into with the angle grinder and the handheld wire brush. And then we've got the black grey polish, which is polish for log burning stoves, and fire surrounds and that sort of thing made out of cast iron and it gives a cast iron a really really nice look then we'll use this pvc cleaner it'll get rid of all the leftover dust and rust on this log burner and it'll just evaporate and it won't affect the polish that i'm going to be polishing the actual fireplace with right guys so we're just going to give the log burner a good clean over to get rid of any loose dust that might be left on the log burner we've got rid of about 99.9% .9 of the rust of the log burner so this is going to look like a real cracking log burner when it's done. Right guys, so we're at the point now where we're gonna start applying black grate polish. And this is excellent for polishing cast iron fireplaces and cast iron log burners. It makes them look absolutely pristine. I think it has a better look than the modern painted look. But you can judge for yourself when you see it finished and it won't be long now. So let's crack on and apply it, like I said, with our small sponge.
So here we are guys, you can see the log burner is in pristine condition, inside and out. See, it's absolutely amazing. It only cost me 30 pound in materials, 20 pound in petrol to go and pick her up, 150 pound for the log burner. So I've got 200 pound in this log burner. Now there's a dealer on eBay who sells them for 600 pounds. And if I went out to buy this model, brand spanking new, it would have cost me two and a half thousand pounds, although it's just been discontinued. All of you can see this is a good deal and there's lots of good deals out there to be had as long as you're looking for that deal if you're looking for a specific item i promise you you'll find it if you look hard enough and you'll find it within a week or two easily and you'll probably get it at the price you're looking for but enough of that guys if you like the video hit the like button if you want to subscribe and you should subscribe hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of more upcoming videos hit the bell button my name's craig you've been watching the small farm life Thanks again to all my patrons, couldn't thank you guys enough, and YouTube members, really appreciate the support. Make sure guys, you take care of yourself, most of all, take care of the family, be genuine guys, bye for now, see you.